Hello, my name is Greg Lane and I'm a Healthy Roads Coach. Many of our members tell us they want flat stomachs or six-pack abs, but they also tell us they don't understand why it is important to exercise all the muscles of their core. Today we're going to discuss the overall importance of core conditioning. What is the core? The core is not simply the muscles in the middle of your stomach. The rest of the core muscles are found between the tops of the legs and the chest line. The core actually consists of the muscles of your pelvis, abdomen, hips, lower back, upper legs, 29 muscles in all. The core is the body's center of gravity and is where all the movement begins. The core muscles work in harmony with the rest of the body to maintain our posture, balance, stability, as well as range of motion. When core conditioning is appropriately incorporated into your exercise routine, you may experience benefits such as improved posture, balance and stability, range of motion, physical performance and functioning of daily activities such as getting in and out of a car or chair or participating in your favorite sport. Core conditioning exercises can also help to build muscle, endurance and can assist in reducing preventable injuries due to a lack of balance and stability. Quite simply, core conditioning gives your body a solid foundation and is important in everything you do. Some core exercises that we're going to demonstrate today include marching, the two-leg floor bridge, side planks, and bird dogs. Please remember that if at any time you feel pain while performing any of these exercises, stop immediately and contact your doctor. So let's begin with the marching exercise. To begin, lie on your back on a mat with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor with toes pointing straight ahead. Draw in your belly button and squeeze your butt muscles. Lift one foot off the floor with slow and steady control as if you are marching so that your lower leg is raised parallel to the floor. Hold your knee at the top for two seconds and then lower your foot to the floor slowly. Repeat the movement on the opposite foot. Now the two leg floor bridge. To begin, lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor and shoulder width apart. Draw in your belly button and squeeze your butt muscles. Now lift your pelvis off the floor about 6 to 12 inches until your knees, hips and shoulders are in line. Pushing down through your heels, hold this for about 10 seconds then slowly lower your pelvis back to the floor. Here's another excellent exercise that is good for the core muscles, the side plank. To start, lie on one side with feet and legs stacked on top of each other and the forearm on the ground. Draw on your belly button and squeeze your butt muscles. Lift your hips and legs off the ground until the body forms a straight line from head to toe, resting on your forearm and feet. Hold this position until you lose your form and cannot maintain the straight body position. Then switch sides and repeat. Finally, let's learn how to perform the bird dog. For this exercise, start on your hands and knees with your knees directly under your hips and your hands pointing forward and directly underneath your shoulders. Next, draw in your belly button and squeeze your butt muscles. Keep your spine in a neutral position and avoid any excessive sagging or arching. Slide your left leg out behind you until it is fully extended and raise the leg so it is even with your hips. At the same time, raise your right arm in front of your body so it is even with your shoulder and in line with the rest of your body. Keep both shoulders and hips parallel to the floor. Hold for two seconds. Do not lift the head or let it sag down. Gently lower yourself back to your starting position, maintaining balance and stability in the shoulders pelvis, and core. Now repeat with the opposite leg and arm. While these are only a few sample core exercises, many exercises can be discussed with your health coach or can be viewed on the HealthyRoads.com website. Unlike other muscles, the core muscles can be exercised daily. Incorporating two to three core exercises into your routine three to four times a week will have you well on your way to improving your fitness. And remember, Although the core muscles are one group of muscles that can be exercised daily, it's okay to give yourself a day off now and then to rest. Watching your kids in their own sports activities or relaxing with a good book can help recharge your batteries. Because total health includes time for relaxation and reflection, 
as well as exercise, socializing and fun. You deserve total health. Take the first step to achieving it today.